use that extra four inch reach advantage that he that he possesses. Chris, I, I hate to break the bubble, but just burst your bubble, but I want to see which. This is your co-main event of the evening. Set for eight rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. Damas y caballeros, este es el combate coestelar de esta noche. Ocho asaltos en la división de peso semi-completo. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Roberto Do Rodriguez, Juan Carlos Pulido y Diego Alejo. And your referee in charge of the action, su referee para este combate, Rodrigo Flores. Y es presentado a ustedes por, being brought to you by Toscano Boxing Promotions, Bodisteca Boxing Promotions, in association with Global Sports Streaming, BIB, the best in boxing. Introducing to you first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. Here was black trunks with yellow trim. He officially weighs in 182 pounds. No canto azul, vestindo su H amarelo e preto, con un peso oficial de 182 libras. He stands with a professional record of two victory, of two professional bouts. One victory, one defeat, and one of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. En dos combates profesionales, una victoria, una derrota, y una victoria por nocaut. Damas y caballeros, recibamos como se merece a la leyenda brasileña y mundial de las artes marciales mixtas. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Brazilian and worldwide legend of MMA. Senoras y senores, apresentando a lenda brasileña y mundial do MMA. Do Curitiba, Paraná, Brasil. Anderson, the Spider Silva. And his opponent across the ring, standing at the red corner. He wears green camouflage. He officially weighs in 184 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo pantaloncillo camuflaje verde. Con un peso oficial de 184 libras. In 57 professional bouts, he stands with a record of 52 victories, five defeats, and 34 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 52 victorias, cinco derrotas, y 34 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former WBC middleweight champion of the world. Damas y caballeros, con ustedes, el ex campeón mundial peso medio del CMB, puro Culiacán, Sinaloa, México, Julio César Chavez Jr. Here, almost equal applause for both and fighters. And now, here. giving out the final instructions. Interesting. Your referee's charge, yeah, Rodrigo Flores. Oh, eight rounds. Oh, oh, Ocho oh, Santos. Come on, come on. Chris, let's talk about the keys to victory. What do these guys need to do, speaking Chavez first, to win this fight? All right, we only have eight rounds. Chavez is used to fighting 10 or 12 round distances. He needs to start fast. He doesn't want Anderson Silva to get comfortable. Two, he has to be a bully. He got a small ring. He can be physical. Fight on the inside, get to that body, which is number three. Body, body, body. Hit that body every chance you get. To, uh, Silva has a very long torso. For keys to victory for Anderson Silva, get your bearings. Know where you are. Get your feet underneath you. Get some respect early. You've got, to, you've got to sit down on those punches in boxing. He's got to be crafty. He's a very slick guy. He's got that great upper body head movement that he can fire right off of. And also, he's got to stay long. He's tall. He's long. He's got broad shoulders. He doesn't want to be in the inside with, with uh, Chavez Jr. Well, everyone's wondering what's going to happen in this fight here tonight. A lot of the boxing experts say oh, that no. there's no way oh, no. Anderson Silva can compete oh, with no. someone on the caliber. The level of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Some people saying Chavez didn't take it as seriously as he might if he was facing a, a more formidable boxing opponent. But they both look like they're in shape and they're ready to go. And, and they both look intense here as they touch gloves and they get it underway as the lights come up in the ring for our co-main event. An eight-rounder between Julio Cesar Chavez in the camo shorts. Anderson the Spider Silva in the black and yellow, as he's known for. Silva dancing around the ring, circling. 
Silva southpaw always can be tricky. It's all about that front foot when you're fighting a southpaw, right, Chris? Yeah, you're going to see that battle of that front foot. You want to keep your lead foot on the outside, whether you're a southpaw or an orthodox fighter. Keep them within your striking position, which is between your legs. You see the size difference. Silva is a big man, again, fought in the UFC often against full-size 205ers and was able to handle them and handle the power in four-ounce gloves quite well. So we'll see if uh, a natural 168er in Julio Cesar Chavez, even fighting down at 160, can, can hurt him with the bigger gloves. Nice 2-3, kind of kind of feeling out with the punches. Big body shot, as you mentioned, needs to be done by Chavez. Anderson moving very well right now. I'm, I'm impressed with his, his ability to maintain a boxing stance, move laterally, and his hands are in great position. I don't know if it's just because they're bigger guys, but man, do these gloves look small on these yeah, guys. they really do. Right? The ring looks really small, too. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to move here, which could be a disadvantage for Silva, who likes to use footwork and range here. You can see that reach advantage from Silva. He's got four-inch reach advantage over, over Junior. Um, you can see he's got very long arms, wide shoulders. Silva jumping in. A little uppercut action. Chavez moving his head pretty well, not being a stationary target. Hands in good position. Overhand left. Partially blocked there by Silva. Now you see the, you know, the body posture. You see Chavez. He wants it. Ooh, good oh, left hook from Chavez. Good land there. And Chavez you know, wants to be in close. He's coming forward, forward, forward. And Silva's moving laterally. He wants to stay outside, stay long. Silva bouncing, dancing. Moving hands down. Now we know Silva, you know, he's being uh, measured right now. But as we've seen him in his UFC career, when you hit him, kind of lights a fire he does have a chip on his shoulder he is a true fighter and when he does get hit he wants to get it back but he has to be careful against the experience boxing skills of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You know Silva at his best is a phenomenal counter puncher ability to pull the trigger and land hard sharp punches one of the best in UFC history yeah and he does like to lull his opponents in almost seems to be inactive at times and the next thing you know like you said bang that one big shot comes hurts his opponent and then he swarms good opening round yeah i thought it was good to see both fighters they both look in shape sharp throw the jab throw the jab and then throw the right, follow it up with the right. We got Silva's corner, imploring him. He seems so calm and collected in there, just receiving the message. No stress on his face. That's just the experience. That's just fight experience. He, yeah, he's not overtaken by the moment, Chris. No, and just like you said, Brandon, like he's one of those guys who lulls you to sleep. You know, he does it with his with his posture, with his body, with his mind, with his face. You know, he's he's very relaxed in there. Well, it's, I think it's safe to say he already did better than Ben Askren a few weeks back. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> ben, ben, ben Askren is a is a known as a grappler, never ever as a striker. In fact, some people say he had the worst striking ever in the UFC. And, uh, and, and and Anderson Silva had some of the best striking ever yes. in the UFC. So much different, much different MMA versus boxing match than we have here, guys. Also, Anderson Silva, uh, Silva does have a box. He has boxed before professionally. Yes. He also is a kickboxer. So kickboxing is, a, is an, uh, someone to think of an easier transition to boxing than, than going straight from MMA or, or having a wrestling background like Ben Askren. You know what I've noticed, Chris, is Anderson, in, in that first round, he, he took that hook very well, and that yeah. was a, a big question that I had coming into this fight, is how he would take Chavez's punches. Yeah, he got hit with that, that big left hook, was lead. Um, he did take it well. It didn't It didn't seem to, to rock him all that much. Is it, can, we, can we say a fighter is a fighter is a fighter, no matter what discipline they're in? I mean, yeah. A fighter is a fighter is a fighter, sure. But, uh, uh, you know, someone who's going to be effective is a whole other story. 
Well, you were talking about, you know, the transition from, from one sport to the other. Mm -hmm. You know, Anderson Silva, if you remember, had that horrific leg injury yes. Yes. Uh, against Chris Weinman. Weinman he exactly. could only box for two years after that. He didn't really want to use that leg. So he got a lot of boxing experience in getting back to the UFC after that injury. That's a phenomenal point, Brandon. Really, really uh, is indicative of what we're seeing here. I mean, he, I, looks, he looks good. Look at that. He's dancing his way. He's a little awkward, though. His footwork is awkward. Mm, good Lands a big hurt, though. Yes. But, you know, fighting the southpaw is always a little bit more difficult. You don't see him as often. It always presents issues. And he moves a lot. He does not become no. a, a sitting target very often. No, he always had great head movement, great upper body rhythm for an MMA guy, which which generally you don't see at, at the high level in MMA. Oh, big shots oh, coming from Lord. Silva on yeah. Chavez in the corner, but Chavez looks unfazed, kind of nice like... Nice uppercut. Chavez showing pre pretty decent defense at this nice point. Nice jab gets through. I'm actually surprised because uh, Junior is actually bringing action to Silva. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's pushing the pressure. He said he needed to do that, too. He said, you know, I need to bring the fight to him. Um, I, I have to I have to do that to earn respect of the of the crowd and, and to, to really prove that that I'm the better boxer here I can't I can't sit back on him I gotta pressure him and he's trying to but man Silva is a tough cookie to catch yeah, Silva's in a rhythm right now he, he was showing a few moments ago vintage Anderson Silva he, he'd like to showboat a lot in his UFC fights I think that's him finding his flow though that's just, that's that's what he needs very surprised at how good Silva looks this early in the match oh, oh. Referee giving a little warning there. Break it up. Listen to my instructions. Oh, Ooh, Silva blocks that nice. big overhand, man. Silva looking pretty smooth so far. Looking confident. Big smile at the end of the round there from Silva. Looking at the corner of Silva. Wide shot of the beautiful Jalisco Stadium here in Guadalajara. Let's go to Gua Adriana in the in the uh, dressing room here. Adriana, what do you got? Hey guys, I am in the dressing room of Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. He is extremely concentrated right now. He doesn't want to take any interviews. He's just focusing on his son's fight. We saw the one previously. Junior's fighting right now. He has his up next. So he's just meditating, getting ready, and we just can't wait. Yeah, that our main event of the evening, the final appearance of the legend, the great Mexican boxer, Julio Cesar Chavez. I mean, everybody here understands the magnitude of this event as we go into the third round of a scheduled eight. This is a sanctioned boxing match. This is not an exhibition. This is a real live boxing match between Julio Cesar Chavez and the great UFC champion, Anderson Silva. Chavez seems to be having a little bit of trouble getting on the inside of those long arms of that plus four inch reach advantage for Anderson Silva. Silva looking good for a man of mid 40s here. Mm -hmm. Moving great. Nice lateral movement, good head movement, upper body rhythm. Okay, that, that's a completely new defense right there. Now he did that a lot in the MMA. He, he did, did this yeah. little like, you know, he'd make, I'd say he'd, he'd make a square with his hands mm -hmm. in front of his face. And it's something he liked to do in MMA. I don't know if it's going to be Expected a smart here. idea in no. boxing. Oh, nice. Chow is really bringing the action, being aggressive, starting everything right now. Yeah, Anderson just needs to be careful that he doesn't get too comfortable in that. Yeah, he, yeah. he is kind of lunging forward. He's not landing a whole lot. Chavez's defense has actually been pretty tight. I like Chavez. He's keeping that little bit of tick-tock, that left and right, up and down. Mm -hmm. He's keeping that head moving so he's not a stationary target. And, I, and I'm going to revert to what Marco said. Junior has the tool. Yeah, very talented. And that's why when you ask, like, you know, in, in the beginning of the uh, of the fight, asking me about which Chavez is going to be, like, yeah. I always think it's going to be that guy, you know, the, the one because he does have talent. Ooh, little toe touch well, there. From, I, uh, <laughs> he's really showing out right okay. now. You can't say... He doesn't have style. Yeah. Does, uh, Charisma. Silva. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's again. He's a showman. I mean, he's been under the bright lights many times yes. in, the, in the cage. So it, he's obviously not being overwhelmed or affected by the stage here. And he's having fun in there. And you got to love that. And that's what he said in the interviews. He said, I said, why are you still fighting? Why do you still do this? And he said, uh, you know, if you, love, if you love your job, you don't work a day in your life. And I mm -hmm. love doing this. I love fighting. 
So why would I stop doing something that I love and I feel like I still can do? And he still does. Oh, good body shot from from. Oh, Chai look Lowe at Chavez, razor sharp. He's looking for that aggression and just going with those hooks. Mm. Oh, big right hand there. Chavez got Silva. Oh, Chavez Silva says, come on. Let's go. What do you got? Hands down. Oh. Give it to me, Chavez. What do you got? Hands down. Oh, good body shot. But that's how Chavez. he lulls guys into counter shots. That's how that's he lulls nice guys. Yes. That's how he did it in the UFC. That's how he's trying to do it right now in the boxing ring. I love this, man. man <laughs> this Silva. is great oh, stuff for Madison Silva. Back, back, back in the corner. Oh, what, a, what a man. Fight a hard jab. We have ourselves a fight here, gentlemen. Oh, gosh. He's having fun, and he's making sure we're having fun here, too. Ringside. All of you, I hope, are having fun. Watching on Fight TV oh, good, 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 or whatever cable. Very well blocked. Oh, look, yeah, that's that's in a row. Tuning in on Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Boris Teka, Toscano Boxing Promotions, really put a card together tonight. And Chris is silent. Chris is silent. But let's go to Marcos to see what he has his fight scored at so far. Man, that was an entertaining round three, right, guys? Hell that, yeah. That's vintage Anderson Silva putting on his. But tell us I, what you're thinking. I mean, round to round, Anderson Silva is getting more comfortable in the fight. He's getting his hands flow. He's getting his move. Julio Cesar Chavez needs to push the pace and throw more combination. But you see, uh, Anderson Silva is getting more comfortable and throw these punches, these combinations very well. All right, back to the action. And here we go, going into the fourth round of this scheduled eight-rounder. This is really smart what Anderson Silva is doing. He's playing mind games. He's being a, he's being a, a, a bully, a tough guy. You know, oh, Ooh, good uppercut. Great uppercut, yes. He's getting under the skin of Chavez. What is up with that step? That little foot lift? Yes. You know, who knows? Only he knows. We'll have to ask him after the fight. Maybe it's something that he just been playing with in the gym that he said he's feeling so loose and free. That's what it says to me. Yes. He's feeling completely comfortable in there, not intimidated at all. And then Chavez is almost can't believe what the heck is happening. He has a look in his face like, are you serious, man? Speaking of comfort, Chavez Jr. does not look very comfortable no. in this round. Yeah, it's herky-jerky timing for Anderson Silva. You know, Jr.'s trained a boxing rhythm his whole life and you got an MMA guy in here that's throwing him a completely different rhythm. What did he do? I'm not yeah, sure what form. the problem is. Oh, a little form. He got for the form, but... Maybe for the elbow there. Yeah, no elbows allowed in this sport here. <laughs> maybe the maybe that extra step is him getting used to preparing that leg for a kick. Yeah, I don't like maybe he wants no, to kick. No, no, no. That's, he's he's doing a uh, it, it's a it's a showman move. He's okay. he's he's like he's touching his ankle before he punches you almost like like Roy Jones used to like, actually Roy Jones has done that in fights. I think I have seen yeah, that he's, actually. He's now that you say that, yeah. that it, Roy Jones. He's pulling. A, he's he's maybe an homage to Roy Jones in there. Maybe Roy used to cock his arm, but throw in the right hand, you know, well, you or think, the bolo from Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah. yeah. If you think about it, he kind of has a Roy Jones style, kind of a yeah. push and pull, you know. Reactions. Yeah. yeah. You're, not, you're not wrong. I was just thinking that he's light on the front leg and just carrying the weight in the back leg. No, I think it's much more of a like a like a showman a showman type move. Oh, nice inside shots here. These guys are oh toe to toe going in the ropes. But look Sweat. at the oh, nice jab for Anderson. Anderson oh, starting yes. to put some work together here. Silva right in front of us. And going to, at it. Starting to put it on Chavez here. Nice Silva not afraid to get hit either. He's taking the punches well. Very well. Even that hook to the liver, no problem. I mean, he is a bigger man, you know, naturally than Chavez. And again, he's fought way bigger guys in the UFC with smaller gloves. Maybe he's not really concerned about, about the power. Nice jab by Silva. I am so impressed Look, with Sam Silva right now. That left hook to the Good. liver is right not hook. even making no. Silva budge. No, Silva has very long arms. He's got that long elbow to block that shot. He's doing it very well. Oh, catch oh. on the left. Coming in big time in this round, guys. Wow, wow, what a round for Silva. Yes. What a round for Silva. Let's go to Adriana in the back who is talking with Hector Camacho Jr. in the locker room. Guys, I want to know what time is it? Macho time. It's macho time. Hector, you are just moments away from taking on uh, the la gran, la gran leyenda, el gran campeón, to avenge your father's loss in 1992. What are the emotions going on right now? A lot of things going on, you know, but um, just staying poised, staying cool, 
keep in mind the exhibition. It's not really a fight, so you know, just taking out whatever energy Julio comes out with, that's how, that's how I go along with it. If your father was here with you right now, what advice would he give you? Papi will kick his ass. You guys had it. You guys hear it. Let's go back to you guys. Thank you, Adriana. Let's take a look at a couple replays from that last round where Anderson Silva really started to come on here. Letting that lead hand go, throwing an uppercut right through the middle, splits the guard of Julio Cesar Chavez wow. Jr. Beautiful shot. Something that he was trying to land all the rounds, but finally was able to in the last round. Going into the fifth round, we are past the halfway point of this fight. Silva really starting to feel himself in that last round. Yes. Continuing on with that pressure. Instead of Julio pressuring Silva, it's Silva pressuring Julio now, guys. Yeah, has, has Chavez Jr. pressed against the ropes and letting his hands go is Anderson Silva at this point. Frustration, almost uh, uh, question marks in the eyes and, of you know, Chavez. Looking at the ref I was just going to tell you, and we saw the same exact attitude From in Omar. Omar. Yep. Yeah, we, we, listen, when, it, when a fighter's looking at the ref, that means that something's wrong. Something's wrong inside them. You should be 100% focused on the man in front of you, the way Anderson Silva is looking at Chavez and the way that Ramon Alvarez was looking at Omar exactly. Chavez. You know, it's funny because when I was talking to uh, Omar Chavez, all he made allusion to was the fact that this was Inocente's background. That's it. This is his backyard. Hmm. It may be not focused on his own stuff, focused no, on him. No, at all. Thinking about his opponent more than, than his own game can be uh, detrimental. And, and, more and looking, it was for him in exactly. the fight. Exactly. And he was more looking to uh, opportunities that would come up with the ref favoring oh, Innocente. See, yeah, you can't be thinking about outside influences on the fight. You know, that's not going to be a good thing. And it looks like uh, Chavez Jr. is kind of doing that too as he looks I, to my the ref. Point, twice. Ex exactly. Twice he's looked to the ref. Yes. Oh, oh nice, nice. Right hand lands, but... Silva is one. Silva took it well. I, and he Strong won't even box. Strong boxer, as you see. Great upper body rhythm and movement from Silva. Nice jab again from Silva. And I gotta tell you, that waist movement, that that bobbing and weaving, that just you know that slight movement with his legs. Another jab, but he, he's Silva. great at firing off that movement. He does. It's not wasted movement. He's moving, 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 and he fires from that position. It's hard to see where his punches are coming from. Silva is becoming it, 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 a puzzle. That is, uh, JC Jr. is having trouble. Trouble figuring Breaking out here. It down, yeah. And see how he changes directions. Mm -hmm. Very, very good footwork. Man, Silva is just really doing what he wants in there right yes. now. Yes. Chavez looks tired. Talk about ring generalship. Chavez looks exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Conditioning is in play. Another complaint. Again. Complain. Yep. Wow. I mean, I mean. What Listen, the thing about boxing is you're allowed to punch your opponent in the face. Why would you complain to the ref? <laughs> you know, guys, I'm getting weird vibes from uh, Junior Sergio Martinez fight where you know, he was a little slow and then you might see him Explode turn on the heat. On. Yeah, in these last rounds. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's And this is Silva is not Sergio Martinez. No, not at all, but he's doing a very great oh, kind of good himself. right hand from J Junior. Yeah, but that's one after every hundred that Silva throws. Oh, Silva gets under that hook. Silva doing a good job evading the big shots. Definitely. Definitely. Looks like he's feeling real comfortable. Let's go to the corner here of Chavez. Oh, another That straight. defense does not exist in Chavez. No, he's given up on that head movement. Who would have thought we'd see Chavez Jr. pinned on the ropes with Anderson Silva letting his hands go? For the Switching last three sides. Rounds. Yeah, three rounds, last three rounds he's been there. But he's smart, he's also using his size. Yes, exactly. And just weighing him down. Good body work on the inside there from Chavez. But look, Silva's staying there. Yeah. In the yeah. in fight, he's, he's willing to take it, yes? That's been the most surprising thing for me, is the comfort level of Anderson Silva. The spider is finding a home in the boxing ring. No doubt. And he's weaving a web here to catch Chavez in some tricky, tricky shots. And Chavez is looking like he is confused on, on how to approach it. He's breathing very heavy, his junior. But that has been his weakness throughout his career. If you have the tools and the talent, but you don't have the condition, it doesn't do me any good. 
Yeah, you don't rise to the level of your expectation. You, you fall to the level of your training here, and it seems like that's happening to Chavez Jr. right now, guys. Exactly. But that's nothing new. It's junior being junior. Yes. As we said earlier, yeah. We saw the fight against Daniel Jacobs. Yeah. I mean, Started well. And, and then, then it just let died it go. out. Yes. Let it go. He faded. With a much smaller man in front of him. Silva is not the smaller man today. No. Ooh. And I did ask earlier today, you know, when you have two good fighters, mathematically speaking, in my book, the bigger guys should have yeah, the we, head start. Right. Just in sheer size. Oh, you see a ferocity in the eyes of Anderson Silva right now, hunting for big shots at the end of this sixth round. Abrasion under the left eye of Chavez. Probably from those lead right uppercuts. Ooh, and a little nick over the right eye as well. I'm just going to say this. I don't think Junior will let him himself go down. He's going to take this all the way to the distance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because, on no. sheer will. Chavez has always had a very good chin. Another good round for Silva. Let's take it to Crystal and the guys up in the GSS studio. I think everyone really underestimated Silva, including Chavez Junior, because he is going the distance. What do you think, Coyito? Is mean... he getting nasty enough for you? <laughs> I mean, uh, Anderson Silva is doing an awesome job uh, taking his pace during a dirty fight, like what you say. But, you know, Junior needs to throw more punches. He needs to do the, the uh, combinations, throw his pace in boxing, more combinations, make, make Silva going back. Right now, Silva is the guy who has the patience. He has the guy who has the fight. I mean, Silva is winning the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to get back into the action. Claudia, back to you guys. Thank you, Crystal. In reality, I think we're all highly, highly impressed with what Silva is giving us tonight. I, I, I can imagine at 42 and this rhythm throughout, we're going into the seventh round. Oh. He looks complete. He looks clean. Oh, no, he's, he's, he looks phenomenal. He looks like a boxer. He's doing a phenomenal job. I don't think you can... Um, you, know, you, you cannot call him not a boxer tonight. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm scared. I'm scared that there's a man out there in the world like this that could be such a, <laughs> a badass in the cage mm -hmm. and then come and be such a badass in the ring afterwards, guys. I, I mean, get, But you know what? I said it, and you guys said, no, no, no. A fighter is a fighter is a fighter, and when you're that level, you're well, going to bring that level of oh. just wisdom flying hours can i can i tenacity. edit can i edit that i never yeah. said champion no 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 is a champion uh, is a champion okay yes we're uh, looking at i stand corrected a, a, a phenomenon a phenom a legend i agree in one sport coming and bringing his skill set into a, a, another another avenue and very I never, well said i never said no 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 but i never would say yes 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 that spider would look this good in the ring against chop no no I, I i think we're like i said we're all very very impressed his work ethic is absolutely no, you can tell he took, the, he took this seriously. Yes, outstanding. I mean, look, we're in the seventh of an eighth rounder, and he's still bouncing. He's yes. He's still moving. He's mm. not even breathing hard. And no. he's landing big yeah. shots. And he's busting Chavez up. And, and busting and, him up. And that, that that footwork, I know I keep, you know, stressing that fact, but it's in constant movement. And one thing is in your 20s. Another thing is in your 40s. You wouldn't know what 40s are, are like yet, being 35 yourself. Of course, Someday man. you will know I what that's like, Claudia. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you, thank you. I was curious how Silva was going to be able to use his skill set from the cage to transition that into the boxing ring. That great footwork, that hit, that that awkward head movement, that dynamic punching and mixing things up, and he's doing just that. It's very, very impressive. Well, I tell you what, I, you know, I, I, he was my idol when I, you know, fought MMA. The Spider was the king at that time, and I used to watch him. He didn't throw a lot of kicks. He used more hands yeah, than anything point. else. That's a good point. So it's not like it's such a foreign world for him. He always loved boxing. He's a fan of the sport, and you can tell that he's watched and studied a lot of boxing in his days. I, I want to bring attention to his body awareness. He closes the gap, he puts the shoulder in, and he mm -hmm. uses that to leverage those uppercuts. And that's why his defense has been so good and has been getting hit with those big shots. Even early on when Chavez was, was feeling good and throwing those big bombs, Silva was catching them with his gloves. See that? Again. That uppercut, left uppercut, just coming mm. out, out of the shoulder roll. It's beautiful. Smacking Chavez with that hook on the inside. Oh, no, he's playing with his food. I'm yeah. going to say it right now. He's playing with his food. Oh, the well, well, shots from Chavez. Chavez. But, I mean, it feels like even when Anderson is backed up into a bad spot, he, he, it's like that's where he wants to be, you know? He chooses to be there. 
Chris, I think the cut is getting, it's getting worse. Oh yeah, no, he's been he's been bleeding all around. Oh, hands down. Gives him that look like, what you're gonna do about it? No, the, the spider has been busting Chavez up. The spider's up. been busting Chavez up. I mean, I couldn't be more impressed. Couldn't be having a better time watching this fight ringside, guys. We are so fortunate. Yes! Marcos, what about you? How do you see this fight so far? This is crazy. Anderson Silva on my card is beating Julio Cesar Chavez yes. Jr. 68-65. There's a little mistake there on the, on the, uh, the scorecard. I've only given Jr. two rounds. He's you just can't get too cute in there and get caught with something that puts him down. Man, I, he's taking the shots really well too. I don't. I, I haven't really seen anything showing us that that Chavez could do that. You know that much damage with a single shot. Another quick complaint to the referee. No, he, he, he's not in the fight. He's not in the fight. You know, you and I, Chris, we we mm. talked about that time when you got hit so hard in your face, mm -hmm. but there was no way you would get your focus away from the fight. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not. We're not seeing that kind of focus. That kind of diligence. there on the inside. What's impressive about the spider is he doesn't mind fighting outside. He'll fight inside shoulder to shoulder. He'll fight uh, uh, with Chavez backed on the ropes. He'll fight with his backed on the ropes. He's, he's been willing to fight every every single position in the ring here today and, and fight effectively as that. Yeah, his judge of range has been masterful. Which is always one of his, his biggest uh, Actually, skills. Yeah, for sure. Not sure what that is. What oh, happened? Oh, at the they're cut. looking at the cut. I mean, it's not bleeding too bad. It's in a bad spot. It is a bad spot, right? But it's not. But it's, it's not, not really bad. leaking. That was a quick stop. I mean, the gas was really a lot worse on Oma. Oh yeah, oh yeah. By far. But it was a little further outside the eye. This one's just above. It's in that sweet spot. Mm -hmm. That's a potentially dangerous. There spot, you go. But it's that's, not bleeding the, bad. that's the challenge you really need to see. But yeah, it's, it's a, a buck short late. and a day late. Yep. He's got one minute left to go, and he is behind in this fight. By far. I get, you know, Marcos has been a lot kinder than I am. Yeah, I, I think I should agree with him. I, I think I have two rounds for Chavez, but probably yeah, this, probably so this round as well. I have the well. first and the third. Oh, okay, so we're not that old. Yeah. Nice left hand. And Silva and definitely slowed a little bit in this round. But still landed good jabs, landed good shots, not getting hit too much. He's playing range well. See, I wish we could see this throughout the whole fight. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah, but he's if he's not in good shape, spots, can yeah. he do this for a whole fight? Maybe he doesn't feel confident to fight like this and, and make it because he doesn't feel like he's in good shape. That's the thing. Chavez is, is brilliant in spots, but it's very few and far between. And that is it, guys. We go to... The scorecards for this eight-round matchup between UFC legend Anderson the Spider Silva and former world champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in this tribute to the Kings presented by Toscano and Boris Teca Boxing, Global Sports Streaming. What, a, what an interesting and surprising fight, uh, Chris, out of Spider Silva. I mean, not surprising in terms of, I mean, Maybe Silva potentially winning the fight or, or being competitive, but like surprising at how good he looked that's, doing that's it. That's what I mean. It's it, incredible. I, mean, I don't he, think any of us expected to look that no, comfortable. That much like a boxer, that comfortable. That polished. That, yeah. Like, polish is a great way to put it. And like I said, you know, it took me years to figure out the footwork, and this guy's doing it in one fight. Absolutely yeah. tremendous performance um, and a, an amazing transition and transformation for Anderson Silva. You know, this was a dream for Anderson Silva to go ahead and, and do this again. You know, it, his boxing career in Brazil didn't start the way he wanted to. He found his way through uh, Muay Thai to uh, the UFC, and, and now it's like he's coming full circle on my card. 78-74, he just beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who was a former middleweight champion. This is nuts. This is crazy. It's nuts. It's nuts. Um, and we were here to call it. And I expect nothing less from a, a tremendous event such as this, the tribute to the king. You think you won? And, uh, Silva, so, nothing but smiles. Very, very happy with himself, as he should be. Someone recently asked me about Silva. Why is he doing this? Let's check in with the GSS desk, uh, Crystal, Courtney, and Goito. Guys, 
What a fight. What an incredible fight to get to witness, right? How are you feeling? You're very excited, I know. You're proud. You feel proud. I mean, I just I, I, I just no feel no boxer, like professional boxer, came to my game and beat me. I just not see that. And Anderson Silva.